Hey guys. I've got goodies. A while ago, I ordered some makeup. Um, this is the Tony Moly X Samyang collaboration. Um, and it's the noodle themed makeup. I really hope I'm in focus. But yeah, so um, I thought today I would do a bit of a not unboxing because it's already unboxed, but like I'll open them. It'll be like a first impressions. Um, and I'll swatch them for you guys. Um, I was gonna do like a whole makeup look or like a review type thing, but honestly, it's just very late and it's very cold and I just don't have it in me. So this is what I'll be doing instead. And I hope that's okay. So I ordered the, let's just expose my neck, shall we? I have a neck, thank you very much. Better. Okay, so I got the whole collection, like every product in it, but I did get every color. I just got one color each. Um, so there are five? There are five things in this box. My camera died, so I don't know if any of this has changed. Um, but let's just get into this box. The first two things are the foundation cushion um in, which is in this noodle like packaging and an actual tub of noodles which got sent alongside them because i ordered it as like a bundle so excited oh my god oh my god okay so this is what the box looks like that the foundation actually comes in. It says hot edition, um, Sam, Sam Yang times Tony Moly, and I got shade number two. I don't think I have any cushions from Tony Moly, so I'm excited to try this. And it also comes with a refill, which I guess everyone is saying that you pour into the cushion when it goes dry because it literally is just like a packet of like liquid and it says a uh, refill sauce so let's crack this open shall we Ooh. so this is the hot covered duck cushion that's what it says on the front and it's got the little like chicken man thing that's like the mascot character on the noodles and he's breathing fire right so i'm not entirely sure how much is like actually in this however it does look quite small i just grabbed um two of my other cushions so this is my peri peri one this is my holika holika one as you can see it is slightly smaller but not massively it is also thinner than both of them um there's a size comparison that one it is small but since it's like um, a special edition packaging. Um, anyway, so opening it up, it's your usual cushion style. There's no plastic on the mirror to peel off. Um, and you've got a little red puff that says Sam I really can't say, but Sam Yang, X Tony Molly, and it's got the little chicken dude on it. That's cute. Oh my god, I don't wanna break it. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, it is actually really tiny. This is so small. Ooh. And it's got the little face in it. It's really cute. Yeah, so I guess I'll just try it on my hand. Okay, I only got a little bit on my hand because I'm nervous. Anyway, so I've just tested it here on this like little strip. You're probably not going to be able to see that well in this, but I might do a close-up. It's looks kind of like a semi-matte kind of thing it doesn't feel like tacky after I've like patted it in and um the color is a little bit light but I think it'll be okay especially since it's winter right now and the coverage is 
pretty decent as far as I can tell. So I'm excited to try that. I'm just kind of sad that it is small. However, that does make it like super portable and it comes with a refill. So I guess it's not that bad, but yeah. So those are my first impressions of the cushion. Next up, I did have a cheeky peek at this because it was in a box. This is the Hot Edition Lip Care Stick. It's like a lip balm and there was like, there weren't any shades to this. It was just one, one product. So this is what it looks like. Um, people were saying, oh my god, is it gonna be like a spicy, tingly flavor? It's not. It smells like a candy that I used to, I used to have when I was little. Like in America, like it smells really good and I'm interested to know if that's what it tastes like because if it is, then I'm gonna be super happy about that. But um, yeah, it's just a glossy lip balm, I guess. It feels like really sticky. So I'm hoping that'll be a good lip balm because it is really, really sticky. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that actually, but yeah, it smells really good. It smells like um or like strawberry candy or something like that. Okay, it is really thick. When I put it on my hand, it felt really really sticky, so I was kind of unsure about it. However, now that I've put it on my lips, it actually feels really nice. It kind of feels like a similar consistency to my um, GlossierBomb.com, which is what I use at night. Um, as sort of like a lip, like a super thick lip bump to sleep in. So it feels like it would stay on like overnight, which is really good. So yeah, it doesn't really taste of anything, unfortunately. Okay, so up next is this, and this is the cheek product. So there was two of these in the collection. There was a red blush, and there's this, which is a highlighter. And um, this is a highlighter. So this is the shade number two of the cheek thing, and it's in the shade carbo lighter i think something like i like yeah i'm pretty sure that is what it is saying let's just get it out i'm really i hate packaging like this because it's so cute like it's just like a little packet but it's like super cute like this and then to open it you have to rip it and then you it just makes me sad oh my god this is where i can't get into it Well, this is the thing. It's in like really sort of like basic plastic packaging and it's got his like little face in it again. And it just says hot edition noodle blusher. And then the shade is on the back. But as you can tell, this is not a blush. This is a highlight shade, which actually looks a lot nicer on my finger than it does in here. But here it doesn't look like anything special, but like, look at that, wow. Can you even see that? But yeah. Anyway, so on my wrist, I don't know if you can see it there, the lights are kind of bright. But yeah, it actually looks really nice in person. Like, I don't know why it's not... Oh, well, actually, I can't really tell. I'm looking at, like, the screen on my camera and it's really small. But yeah, so I don't know if you can see it, but it's super cute. So why is my battery dying? I just charged it. Final product. This is the lip tint. Um, it's in the same kind of packaging as the cheek thing and I got the shade 02, which is a cheese, I don't know, cheese something. Ooh. But yeah, ooh, this is hefty. This is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So this is the lip tint. It kind of looks like a nail polish, like the packaging, and it is like a glass um, thing, yellow li lid, and it says hot sauce, hot edition lip sauce tint. And it's got the little guy on the corner. Um, but yeah, it's like literally the same color as my jumper right now, which is hilarious. But let's just um, give it a go. It's got the same... Oh, I got it on my nose. <laughs> oh, do you know what it smells like? It smells like strawberry jello. Let's swatch this on my hand. Okay, and so that is the swatch on my hand. It is sort of like a bright orangey red. Yeah, it looks cute. I guess I'll put some on my lips and then show you what I think of it. So this is like a light faded layer, um, which I think actually looks really pretty. Um, I'm digging it. I'll do like a full coverage one now and then show you. Okay, and this is a bit more a like fuller application. Um, I've got two things to say. One, I don't know whether this is because it's not mixing well with the lip balm, but it does seem like the color isn't like throughout the actual tint. Like I've put tint everywhere, but then when I, when I like move my lips or I've gone like 
the color will sort of like move to certain places and like leave the outer edges so like where I've tried to line my lips the color is like moved inwards and left like the tint but like not the not as much color like it's gone see-through like all the pigment is like sunk I don't know if that makes sense so it's not the best for like full applications because you're not going to get a sharp line at least not with the lip balm underneath it that's the only way I've tried it um however the color is actually really nice and I would totally do it the first way like the gradient way that looked really cute and the second thing I want to say is that the handle and like the applicator is really hard to use because it's so like short it's kind of hard as well as the fact that it's like a chunky square so you're like holding it like this trying to do things so again for that it also it's better just to do sort of like a simple light gradient where you just like slap it on in the middle and then like blend it out so i really like this collection i'm excited to like try these out on like my face especially like the cushion and the highlighter i'm really excited to like use if you want to ask questions leave them down in the comments and i will answer them on the whole i really like the look of this collection and like, I got the whole thing off of Beauty Box Korea. For those of you in the UK, you can get them. You can get it off of Beauty Box Korea. Um, and it was only like 20 to 30 pounds for the whole collection, so it's not really that bad. And it came pretty quick for any of you who want to hop on this. That's how. Yeah. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up down below. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you want to make any suggestions for future videos. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. So, bye!